Hey everybody, what is going on? Sean here with Zero to Income. Now yesterday I showed you how to add an automated testimonial carousel to your system.io website with custom code. And so what you're looking at here are the testimonials that are going from one to another and they're just kind of rotating automatically from one to the next. Now system.io does have a carousel feature however the problem with the system.io carousel is that it's not auto generated you have to click on it to go from one to the next so we've got that set up so today what i want to show you is how to do one with images so if we scroll up here right in here we have one that is rotating through images automatically so in the description below, I will have code available that you can grab, you can copy it, and you can add it into your own uh, site and use that as you will. And I'm going to kind of just give you a walk in, a walkthrough, and I'm just going to kind of go through a quick walkthrough on how you would go in and edit this code. So let's pop over to our editor, and here's the code right here. I'm going to go and click into it, and here's our edit code option. The code that I give you, I'm going to uh, provide all of this, and in here, instead of these images, uh, we're going to have placer images. We're not going to keep the ones that are in there right now. We'll probably have something like image one, image two, and image three in each of these slots. And you literally just go in here and you place the address for where your images are located. So this is pulling the image in from this address right here. Let me copy that and I'll show it to you. Okay. It's pulling it in from right there. So you might say, hey, how do you add this to your own code? All right. So what you would want to do is you would want to go and probably the easiest way, you can either go to the website itself. And if you have the images that you want to use on the site, then you can go and just right click on them, do open a new tab, and there's the address to that image. Okay. Now, maybe you don't have it in your system yet. Probably the best way to do this, uh, system doesn't have a media section. Okay, so the process of getting that media section is kind of quirky. So here's what I would do. I would go pull in an image, pop it anywhere, click on it, and then once there, go to image, and then go to upload, and then go and upload all the images that you want to upload. All right, so let's just go in here. We have, uh, this is already going to be in there, but here we've got, uh, this is a PNG file. Uh, this is actually... Um, carousel testimonials. Let's go and just do a quick peek at this. Extra large icons. Some images that uh, we're creating for some, let's just say this one here. So we have testimonials background. We'll click on that. All right. So it's uploading it. Now the question is, how do we get this address? So what you would do, same way as you did over here, just right click on it and do open a new tab. This here is the address, just copy it, for that image. And then you would go in here, you would exit out of this. You don't need this anymore. You just use that to just get into your media files to get to the address. And so then you would just go up and click on that raw HTML element once again. You would go up to edit code. And then in here, you would go in here and let's just say we want a whole new, I'm going to paste this in. Let's just say that we want to add an image. So right now we've got uh, three images. So let's just say we want to add a fourth. You go and you grab all of this code from here to here. That represents one image. I'm going to paste that in. Now I'm going to take this code here. I'm going to copy that and delete it actually. And then we're going to go back here, bring this back, clean this up a little bit here. And then right here, Got to delete all this, and the editor in system's kind of wacky, so I'm just going to kind of delete portions of this until I get to the end right here. And take all that out, and now I'm going to paste in between these two quotate, uh, quotes. Now, in between these two quotes, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that image address in. Okay, now I'm going to click on Save. I'm going to click on save again. We're going to go up here to the site. I'm just going to refresh it. 
I'm going to scroll down here. We should see four now. There's the first one, second one, third one, and we should see the fourth. And there's that fourth image, just like that. Now, here's the beauty of this also. You all know I'm a stickler for things being mobile. So let's go ahead and right click, do an inspect. Now what I want to do is we're already set to responsive. And if you don't have it set already, right up here is this uh, from the second to the left is the toggle device toolbar option. So if you're not seeing the option to drag this and see what it looks like, you want to go up here to this toggle device toolbar. I have it set to responsive. And I'll show you here in a minute that we can change it to different screen sizes manually. But now I just drag it to see what does this look like on different screen sizes. And as you can see, as you scroll, it's very responsive and uh, is the different screen sizes is handling this new code very well. Okay, I'm, I'm really happy with that. Now, the other thing you can do is you go up here to this drop down and then you can just drop it down and pick a phone size the uh, iphone xr we can do uh, we can do an ipad mini uh, etc etc all right so i'm just going to bop this back up to responsive we're going to x out of this and just go back to our rain page uh, and that's it uh, again that code is going to be in the description down below and if you're liking these videos we have a whole playlist of system.io videos that you can go and check out and that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching.